Hey, welcome to vba8tutorialcode.com. In this video lesson, I'll show you different filtering techniques in VBA. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the Visual Basic Editor, go into Module 1, and uh, the first filter here that's highlighted, it filters by Brian. And uh, this right here, you could switch this to 2 if you want it to be uh, for column 2, which is B, or column 3 is C, or column 4, which is D. I'm just going to put it on 1 because uh, we're looking at column A right now and uh, we're just going to filter by Brian and then it's going to this right here clears the filter so now we're going to add a new filter and it's going to filter by anything that's yellow and filter by Jose now it shows the data and right here this is going to filter by uh, anything with the letter B in it it's case insensitive uh, so anything that has B anywhere in it will get filtered and uh, this filter will be anything that begins with B and then anything after it as long as it begins with B it's fine and uh, you can see the star here that just means in any character uh, as you can see these all begin with B and uh, this one anything that ends with the letter B and then Z the star is before the B so anything could come before the B and then as long as it ends with the B, and then the star, anything come before the Z, and, and then it ends with the C. And as you can see, these all end with B or Z. And then this filter just filters by an array of three different values, Brian, Jeff, and John. Brian, Jeff, and John. And those are the basic uh, filters uh, in VBA. And I'm going to show you a few more right now. Alright, so see this worksheet? Um, we got companies in column A and we got like their, let's just say their profitability in column B. So I'm just going to just run through this code really quickly. What it's going to do at the end of it is it's going to have all the positive companies on sheet 1. It's going to have all the companies who have negative numbers on sheet 2. Alright, so it's done. All the negative companies are here and all the positive companies are here. I'm actually going to walk through this code and explain it. Alright, now let me just close it out and open it up again. Let me just close out the other workbook too. Alright. Let me just make this a uh, full screen. Alright. Uh, so what this does is it filters range B. I always make sure I put like 10,000 or whatever. Like here's it's uh, setting the auto the active sheet range to A1 to Z 10,000. It'll only filter up to row 10,000 in this case. So always make sure you're filtering by enough rows. You can put an end row there uh, if you want to uh, find like the last row in the column. Uh, but yeah, so here we're filtering by column B, and anything that's less than zero, uh, you could do uh, less than or equal to zero. If you want to include zero, you could do greater than or equal to zero. You could do greater than zero. I'm actually just going to uh, leave it at less than zero. And uh, so it's just going to filter column B by anything that's less than zero right now. So here are all the companies that lost money. And then it's just going to select range A2. It's going to go to the right. It's going to go down. And it's just going to select the visible cells. So anything that's filtered right now, anything that is filtered, it's going to select those. And we're going to copy them. Um, this doesn't select anything that isn't filtered. So all the positive numbers don't get selected when you use this formula. Um, if you're unsure how, how Excel down and Excel to right work, I'm just going to show you that real quick right now. And then I'm just going to start over with this code. But uh, so here's you just press uh, hold down control and shift and then press down on the down button and it'll select everything that's there. Um, If you hold uh, control shift down and then right, it'll select everything that's here. Same thing for this. 
control shift down, control shift right. That's how you select like a range of cells. But say for example, you had like uh, cells that were like lined up like this with like a space in between them. It would only select the top portion, so the data always needs to be connected for the XL down and XL to right to work. But uh, I'm just gonna start running through this code again up until this position. Uh, so right now, what it's doing is it's selecting the visible cells and it's gonna copy all the negative companies. And right here, this adds a new sheet after the current sheet, sheet one. And this uh, select sheet two. And uh, range A2, we select it, and then we just paste all the negative companies we just copied. This just fills in like the range values. This just auto fits it so it doesn't look bad. Sheet one. So right here, this what this is doing. It's gonna select rows two to ten thousand. The rows are the vertical. I guess it's uh like from one to sixty-three thousand three hundred fifty-six. These are the rows right here. So what this is going to do is it's going to select all of them and then the second portion is just going to select all the visible ones and it's going to delete all of the negative companies because we moved all the negative companies to sheet 2 so they don't need to be on sheet 1 anymore and it's just going to delete them and then it's going to show all the data and the only thing that's remaining on this sheet is just the positive companies as you can see the negative companies are on this sheet, the positive companies are on this sheet what is a drawback about deleting the rows is that you saw like the the ones that were next to each of the negative companies all these ones at the end of when this code executed they're all deleted so if you're working and uh, like there is data on like the right hand side of uh, these rows when you delete them it actually deletes the entire row so these ones are gone uh, once you're done running through this code and that's a big problem uh, so in this uh, third worksheet the good thing about this third worksheet is that it's basically the same as that code as before uh, except let me just show you here I'll, I put one next to all the negative companies again but uh, there is a slight difference between the code on this workbook and the last workbook. And that is, let's see, it is right, right about here. So right here, instead of doing rows one or row two to 10,000, it just selects the range A2 to B and the last row in column B. This is the formula to get to the last row in column B. Uh, we just set that variable equal to that. So that range A2 to the last row in B2, it just selects that, and then uh, you select the visible cells, and then context contents instead of uh, uh, selection dot, uh, delete shift up. So it, it just uh, clears the contents. It's like selecting a cell and pressing delete uh, on your actual keyboard. It just deletes exactly the values in the cell. It doesn't actually delete the cell itself. And Then uh, another difference is it just uh, highlights column A and B and it selects all the blank cells and then it just deletes the blank cells. And uh, what this does is it just only affects columns A and B. Uh, so I'm just going to just, I guess, step through this code just to point out where those differences start. It's basically the same thing as the last worksheet I just showed you. So I'm going to fly through it pasting all the negative companies on this sheet. All right, so now what this is doing, it's selecting A2 to end row, and it's gonna select the visible cells, and right now it's just gonna delete the values in them. So these rows are still here, and all the ones are still next to them. And uh, what this is gonna do, it's gonna show all the data. So all the ones are still exactly where they normally were, where the negative companies were. And it's gonna select columns A through B now, and it's gonna select all the blank cells here, these are all the blanks, and uh, it's just going to delete and shift those up. And notice how the ones still stay exactly where they were. They're they're on like they're they don't get messed up. Like their location is still in the same spot. 
even after this uh, code still goes. So you're able to split everything over here and put everything over here and all this data is unaffected. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the end of my video. Uh, thank you for watching. Check out vb8tutorialcode.com for more lessons and uh, subscribe to my